Okay, let's talk about it because what the fuck? First of all, there is no official language for the United States of America. The dominant language, if you want to argue that point, yes, is English. However, no one is required to speak English when living here. As a matter of fact, I happen to work remotely and be a bilingual representative, meaning that I speak English and Spanish whenever, you know, calls come in, depending on what the customer needs. Anyway, I recently had a customer call in and tell me that she is a first generation immigrant to the United States and doesn't know any English and doesn't need to know any English because not only does does like everyone in her area know Spanish to be able to accommodate her, but even at her job where she works remotely, all of the customers that call in um, are Spanish speakers. So... She does not need to know English to live here, to be able to go to the grocery store, to be able to work. So why anybody would be hung up on that is beyond me, let alone to be mad that this is available to people. Fucking weird. While I can understand there being frustration when it comes to like there being a language barrier, right? Um, but dude's level of frustration was unreasonable. It did not match the situation. You know how easy it is to pull up Google Translate and just type what you want to say for the other person to be able to read in their language? Like, come on. Also, yes, I'm going to go there. Unless you are Native American, you literally have no right to complain about what languages are or aren't being spoken on these lands. You know what I mean? Like, it is... If it's going to be anyone's land, which nobody owns the land, indigenous people are the stewards of the land. But yeah, if, if we're going to say anyone owns it, it should be the people who know what the fuck to do with it, who aren't destroying it. I mean, it's just, it's not rocket science to me, but I know there's going to be pendejos who want to get on here and argue. Anyway, all that to say, xenophobia is not okay. Nobody is immune from from being able to perpetuate different forms of bigotry. There are things that by living in a racist, white supremacist ass society, we are going to internalize and need to not only be aware of, but actively work on. And one of those things for a lot of Americans, regardless of what ways you may or may not be marginalized, is unpacking your xenophobia and the ways in which American exceptionalism just like ugh, jumps right out in certain situations. I'm just saying this, you know, with love, don't shoot the messenger. But, you know, the truth is the truth. You ain't got to like it for it to be the truth. You know what I mean?